In this lecture, we're going to install a package to help us draw a map. Before installing the package, let's explore why it may be necessary. In our project, open the Game Assets slash Terrain folder. This folder contains various models for the terrain of our game. Players will be able to walk on these objects. For this game, we're going to be using 3D tiles for constructing a map. There are enough tiles for there to be variety in your game. In this file, search for a tile called Ground Grass Tile. Before moving the tile onto the scene, let's verify its appearance. Under the inspector, open the preview. The model should look like this. After verifying that you've selected the correct model, let's drag it into the hierarchy. Next, let's focus on the model by pressing the F key. We're going to need more than one tile. The tile doesn't have enough room for the player to walk on. I'm going to duplicate the model. Next, I'll move it with the Move tool. Using the Move tool can be difficult since the precision may not be accurate. We may accidentally create a gap or overlap with the other object. I'm going to undo the movement. There's a trick to moving game objects. We can hold the Control or Command keys to use grid snapping. This time, the movement of the game object moves in bigger increments. This behavior will allow us to accurately move the tile on the edge of the other tile. This process can be repeated for newer tiles. For example, I'll duplicate and move the tile two more times. While this technique is viable, it's not the fastest approach to building a tile-based map. It can be easy to make mistakes. If your map is large, it can take hours to fully flesh out a map. Luckily, Unity has a package for helping us build a tile-based map. Before installing the package, let's delete the blocks from the hierarchy. Next, navigate to Window, Package Manager. Packages are features that can extend the current capabilities of the editor. There are various packages available, from cameras to analytics. At the top left corner, there's a drop-down for viewing different lists of packages. The first option is called Unity Registry. This option displays a list of official packages created by the Unity team. The second option is called In Project. This option displays a list of packages installed in our project. The My Assets option displays a list of packages downloaded from the Unity Asset Store. If you don't have an account, you will be unable to view these packages. Lastly, the Built-in option will display a list of core packages that have been pre-installed with the editor. Let's select the Unity Registry option. As you can see, there are dozens of packages at our disposal. In the search bar, let's search for packages with the name Tile. Two packages should appear called 2D Tile Map Editor and 2D Tile Map Extras. The 2D Tile Map Editor package adds an editor for the tile maps, while the Extras package extends the editor with additional features. Both packages will be necessary. Let's install both packages. As you can probably guess, both packages are aimed at 2D games. However, our game is 3D. Truthfully, these packages were not designed for 3D games. We won't be able to use them to their fullest extent, but that's perfectly fine. The features available for 3D games will suffice. The installation of both packages should have been successful. In the next lecture, let's begin using them.